So you're talking about uh, I'm running a, a server for a video game. Yeah, pretty and much. People are connecting to this, playing a real time yeah. game. On yes. Server. Yeah. So I guess what I'd say is there's a couple of different things you can think about there in terms of what's going to determine your cap. And this this is I guess the the thing that I was talking about before about understanding those those sort of ranges. So there's a number of things which can which can prevent a server from exceeding a certain number of players. Obviously, one of them is the simulation rate of the game. So when people say something like a thousand players, is that a lot or a little for a game? You know, is it ridiculous to say we couldn't go past a thousand? The answer is, unfortunately, it depends. And the reason for that is think about what's happening in a video game that you play when you just, you know, you go home and you play something on a PlayStation 5 or whatever. Um, if you looked at what the cost is to run that video game in, you know, the CPU cost, the GPU cost for, you know, running it on this console or whatever you, however you play games, you're going to have some amount of time that is spent computing like the physics for this game and like the world logic for this game. Now you're just one player, right? And you're playing the game. If it's a millisecond or two milliseconds of total sim time, let's say this is what it costs. Well, if you want a thousand of those, now it's a thousand times two milliseconds, right? Now, obviously, when you have a server or something like this, you may be running, you know, I guess, I assume the business term for this might be big iron or something like that. So like, you know, a server that's massively more powerful in terms of the number of CPU cores it has. So, you know, maybe you're running it on some computer that has four cores or eight cores normally, whereas you go to a server in the cloud, you can have, oh, we've got this 96 core epic thing, you know, or something like that. And so obviously you get some scaling factor there, but it's only a certain scaling factor. It's not a factor of a thousand. There's no such thing as a thousand core uh, server today. Uh, AMD, if you are interested in releasing one of those, I would love that. It'd be amazing to program. Um, so you do have to manage some expectations there. Now, so if you were to take a game like that, where we, where we actually knew that the sim time as optimized... Um, with something like a millisecond or two, then, then yeah, a thousand players on a server is looking really difficult. How are you going to do that? 2000 mm -hmm. milliseconds is two seconds and that is not real time. <laughs> right. And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you do have to make sure you understand right. the problem. Right. Now that's not the same as saying that a server, that all game servers should be excused from only having 10 players on them or something mm -hmm. like this, because there's different levels of work that are involved in simulating the player experience. Because remember, they don't, you don't have to do simulation, you have to do the rendering, you have to do the graphics, right? A lot of times you're just talking about the, the simulation part. So in the past, when we've had things more like uh, massive multiplayer online games, in those, they're often more transactional. So, you know, Minecraft is a real-time game. You move around, there's physics, that sort of thing. So there's a lot more simulation going on. You look at something like maybe a World of Warcraft or, you know, a, an online game where it's, it's more transactional. And what I mean by that is we're moving around in 3D space. It doesn't really matter. Most of what matters is I chose to cast a spell on this guy. It's a little bit more like playing Magic the Gathering. It's almost like playing a card, right? And when you have a system that's like that, the server doesn't really have to be involved as much. It just has to kind nice. of verify that everything's fine and to make sure that the transactions occur okay. And it's a lot more like a business server than a game server at that point. The client can do a lot of code, uh, can, can uh, do a lot of the work. And so when I'm moving around the 3D world, most stuff can be happening in the client, not the server, unlike on Minecraft, where it really just has to know those things, right? So when you look back at one of those games, it might be tempting to go like, oh, World of Warcraft could have like 5,000 players in a server or something like that. I mean, I don't know what their peak was, but like, right. you know, maybe you look back, you see one of those, like, they had 5,000 people in a server. Why can't Minecraft do that? It's like, well, it's apples to oranges comparison. So, hold that to you a little bit of perspective. Um, I don't want to make a claim about Minecraft because I've never looked at what's entailed in my, like, uh, I, I've never played Minecraft. Me I neither. Tr I tried to play Minecraft. The Microsoft store or the Mojang store, it was, it was after sold to Microsoft. I tried to buy it and it said that, like, my credit card was not accepted. I, I, I still do not know why. And you, you fail at that stage? Okay, okay. I still don't know. I, I do not know why. This is, this is, this is like, I don't know what the, the world's right. third right. most valuable company. They could, they could not figure out how right. to take my credit card. So I, I can, I still to this day have not played Minecraft. I know that literally everyone in the world plays Minecraft. It's the best selling video game or one of the best selling video games of all time. And I have never played it. So I still don't know if someone out there at Microsoft is, right. if there's anyone at your company who's not right. mad about the terminal right. thing, 
who wants to send me a copy of Minecraft, I'd like to play it, right? I'd like to play that game because everyone in the world has played that game except me because you declined my credit card and I do not, I do not know why. I think I literally bought a game on Steam like 30 minutes after that and that worked fine. So I'm pretty sure it's not the credit card, uh, but maybe you, you just didn't want to sell me on.